from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Well, week four is upon us, so without further ado, you know what this is. Big 14 simulation, week four of the season. Nebraska now 13th in the country, taking on Michigan. Nebraska is 1-0. and Michigan is 1-1. and Let's go to the top 25. You got Louisiana Monroe taking on Auburn, Utah State and Wisconsin, Air Force and Boise State, Florida Atlantic and Georgia, SCS Southeast and Clemson, and Texas and Colorado, which is where our first simulation will happen. Texas is 2-0, and the number 21 team in the country, taking on the Colorado Buffaloes, who are 1-0 and after having a bye week last week. What will happen? Most likely it'll be all Texas, but you never know in the Big 14. But it is, as I said, all Texas. 31-14 to over the Buffaloes. Texas improves to 3-0 and on the season. 1-0 and in Big 14 play. Colorado falls to 1-1. and 0-1 in the conference, of course. Wake Forest and Florida State. Alabama and Arkansas. That is going to be a good one. Both teams are undefeated to this point. Louisiana Lafayette 0-2 coming to Stillwater to take on the number 25 ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys who are 2-0. Let's see what happens in this simulation and it is all Oklahoma State 38-10 over Louisiana Lafayette who is falls to 0-3. Oklahoma State moves to 3-0 not even having to face anybody in the Big 14 yet. So good for them. Next up we got Miami and Notre Dame. That looks to be a good one. UAB in South Carolina, that is going to be a good one. Cal goes to Ohio State. Virginia Tech takes on Pittsburgh. Kentucky goes to LSU. Kansas travels to number 8, West Virginia. Kansas is 1-1. One one. West Virginia is 2-0, 1-0 oh, oh in conference. Big, 12, big 14 play. How will Kansas fare against West Virginia? Probably not too well, but we'll have to see. The simulation says, Kansas! with the upset their first win in conference play big fourteen play we have a shocker folks kansas thirty eight west virginia thirty one oh my goodness west virginia falls to two and one one and one in conference kansas improves to two and one one and oh in conference oh my heavens and that one touchdown in the third quarter right here is what gave Kansas the victory. No, actually, it wasn't that, because West Virginia tied it up. Kansas, with a minute and a half to go, scores and pulls off the upset of the Mountaineers. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is a shocker, folks. Stanford and USC. Oregon takes on FCS East, but that is all in the top 25 for the Big 14. So now we go and see how... They will fare. FCS Midwest against Iowa State. Will Iowa State finally be able to pull off a victory? They will. 34-24 to in a game that was closer than it should have been. But Iowa State is now 1-2 and on the season thus far after beating FCS Midwest by 10. FCS Southeast travels to Baylor. Will Baylor be able to pull off their first victory of the season? They will. 35-14 to over the Cobras of FCS Southeast. Baylor does improve to 1-2 and two now, and that's always good to finally get a victory after struggling in their first first couple games. FCS Southeast falls to 0-18, as it says up there at the top. Um, Missouri travels to Central Florida. Missouri is 1-1. Central Florida is 2-0. How will this game fare out? It will be Missouri pulling off a squeaker at there in Central Florida 20 to 17 knocking Central Florida down to 2 and 1 and improving Missouri to 2 and 1 themselves both teams not having played a conference game thus far New Mexico travels to Texas Tech New Mexico on 1 Texas Tech 1 and 0 how will this game fare out it will be all Texas Tech 42 to 3 over the Lobos of New Mexico Oh my, so Texas Tech, uh, they did not um, think they were going to lose, and they were right. They're 2-0 now. Texas A&M travels to SMU. A&M, their only loss was to West Virginia, who 
well, lost to Kansas earlier today. How will A&M fare against the 2-0 SMU Mustangs? It will be SMU pulling off a uh, pulling off a nail biter, 24 to 19, in a game that was really close and tight to the end. SMU improves to 3 and 0. Texas A&M falls to 0 and 2, and it was all SMU until the fourth quarter, where an A&M gave a run gave them a run for their money. Ch could not get the two point conversion and could not get the ball back to try to tie up the game or give themselves the lead. So. That's week four. Come back next time, guys, when we have week five. Hopefully it'll be better for the Big 14. See you guys. As President Obama would say, now let me be clear, that was not the end of week four. Um, I forgot totally that Nebraska had to play Michigan, you guys. So we'll send that one really quickly. And that will be Nebraska pulling off the upset. 31 to 22, improving their record to 2 and 0, dropping Michigan down to 1 and 2. Michigan 1 and 2 and still ranked higher than Nebraska. That is an insult. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed week 4. This time I'm for reals done. Come back next time for week 5. See you guys.